Hi folks, thanks for joining me once again. Today we have a review of an RTA. This is the final version of the Zeus X by Geekvape. Haven't actually tried the previous two versions, which I've heard were pretty good. Pros and cons to them as always. Hopefully this one is everything you could ask for. Um, comes in many different colors, it says it on the side here, but there's a stainless steel, a blue, a red, a gunmetal, a rainbow and a black. All very nice indeed. The red with the black looks pretty cool. I wish I would have got that one now. But I wanted one to go on my Aegis Legend, which is black and blue. Let's not mess about. Go down to the table, give it the unboxing, give it a nice little build, bring it up top, tell you what you think. Tell you what you think, tell you what I think. Let's crack on. Right then. Let's not mess about. This is the box that your Geek Vape Zeus X will come in. This isn't the reviewer box. This is the proper, legit, box you will get as you can see mine is blue everything on the back the normal malarkey normal warnings details of the company the zeus x is the final edition of the zeus series so is it the best well hopefully we will find out but fairly st almost drop it fairly standard geek vape packaging slide that out same again not a lot on here apart from my dirty filthy fingers I'll slide this off and there she is okay at a glance let's get this out of the way you might not like this but this drip dip tip drip dip <laughs> this drip tip and how this works how it looks i think it looks brilliant and it's great we'll get to that in a second quickly what's inside this little box is a massive bag of bits and bobs okay every type of o-ring and looks like multiples of them as well along with some spare screws allen key your t tool yeah loads oh you've got a standard drip tip there and is that a 510 adapter yeah loads of bits loads of stuff we'll get to that in a minute what else looks like a spare grass grass <laughs> can't get my words out today a spare glass there's a spare 2 mil capacity glass. So this is obviously the UK TPD version. Obviously, guys, I'll probably say it's up top as well, but no doubt you're going to want to try and get yourself a bubble glass. And I've heard rumours that the Kylin 2 glass fits, so I want to try and get hold of one of them. Maybe by the time I've done testing this, I'll have a bubble on this, so we'll see what happens there. Um, quickly inside here, okay. I've already had this through testing. I've given it a clean for this part of the review. You get the two fuse claps and claps and oh, I've done it again. Clapton coils. They're pretty good coils, pretty standard Geek Rep style coils, nothing spectacular, but they they do the job. Um, user manual. Because this is a bit of an interesting RTA and how it goes together and stuff and the airflow, so we'll talk about that. Um, so that's that and your usual Geek Vape bits and bobs, probably some business cards or advertising. Maybe a warranty card, I suppose. Purchase information. Bit of advertising. Oh, it looks nice in red with that black, doesn't it? Oh, don't make me buy another one. And a warning card. Okay, let's get to the main attraction. Here she is. Let's bring this down. I'll try and show you guys all the components. Okay, at a glance, at the, at the base. Zeus. Designed by Geek Vape, chuggy liquid, all the normal stuff. Let's go back to this drip tip, which is removable and you can put on a standard 510. As you can see, you've got the seal inside there. So if you happen to have a other goon style drip tip, it fits on there nice and snug and nice and tight. So that's good, but I really like the way the standard one fits and how it looks. I mean, there is there's a slight there is a slight gap there. Can you see that? There's a very slight gap there, which is a bit of annoying, but nonetheless. Okay, dual airflow slots, which stops there and stops at max. Okay, now let's just take it all apart. Let's explode this thing. Ninety degrees, pop. 
like I say, I've had this apart before, guys. I have given it clean, but there's a slight bit of moisture still kicking around. Beautifully machined. Not no real swirly marks in there. Nice and clean. You can see this this O-ring in here. That obviously helps with leaking. But you can see that is nice and clean and tidy. Put that to one side. This o this airflow ring just pops off, and it can only go on one way. If you try and stick it on the other way it gets to there and it gets stuck and you can probably just see in there there's a slight slight difference in the ribs on one side to the other this side see that notch there so when you're popping that on it just clips and clicks in that position and that's obviously your pointer there okay so you can't get that on the wrong way Let's unscrew her, if you let me. This is where it all falls apart and you go, oh bloody hell, what's going on here? Let's take that gently. Now when I first saw this, it confused me. But I'll get to that in a sec. This, this glass with a bit of a wheel comes off that there. You can see inside there, this lovely conical shape leading up to your drip tip. And again, beautifully machined, just, just lovely. And I like all the print nicely done and there's your glass right what was i talking about this part your chimney let's call it a chimney so you can see the slot here and it's the same on the other side and that lines up with this now when i first saw this i thought well that's fine but that doesn't sit on there easy it's not it's a bit of a pain but once you actually pop that in there and you line that notch up with that notch it kind of spins together lovely so the airflow honeycomb airflow on that chimney obviously meet with this airflow slot so the air runs down that chimney the outside of the chimney the inside of this part and directly to your coils. Now I will say that it's pretty important that when you build your coils on here you want them to be at that height so the airflow is hitting directly on them coils so you don't want your coils too high or as they could effectively touch this chimney in short and you don't really want them too low so that the air is just blowing across the top of them you want it bang right on the coils so during my build on this video I'll use my coily, coily tool and you'll see exactly what length you want to cut your coils at. Now the build deck fairly straightforward you can see positive post here with the insulator and there's your negative posts and you can see your juice wells if you're wicking which are quite shallow. One thing I will say about these screws is they won't take every flathead screwdriver you've got. If I happen to have my coil master screwdriver to hand which is nowhere to be seen here it is so these are the tools i generally use the coil master tools they're too big so it's five minutes out like that but once you get to that when you first get this kit i struggled to get there and you can almost see a little bit of damage on them screws already and that's from using this but it does come with a TP so, but for now for this video I've got another one which is just slightly skinnier flathead so it does work they could have just made them a bit bigger they could have made the post a little bit chunky but nonetheless drop your coils in tightens up nice with these haven't had any major problems right then what we'll do now is we'll fade into darkness and we'll come back to some nice music and we'll do a build on it
And that was the Geek Vape Zeus X RTA. Not a bad little RTA to build on really. A little bit fiddly with the screws, but anyway, I've got on the Aegis Legend as promised, airflow wide open, coils come out at 0 0.08, and I've got a, a measly 80 watts. Let's give her a little bash, shall we? Cloudy. Absolutely lovely vape. Spot on. Vapor vapor production is excellent, and the flavor is pretty darn good. Um, it's, this might be controversial, but it's very close to kind of drop dead slash dead rabbit kind of flavor levels. So it's up there with the RDAs. It really is close, really is close. I like the airflow one open. That is quite a low wattage really for 0 0.08, but for me, with the code red that I'm vaping on, it's a lovely cool vape which is which is enjoyable okay what's good and bad about this rta well the, the goods obvious flavors up there with, with some of the best vape production is always great and um, the airflow range I haven't noticed much difference if you have the airflow halfway down or quarter down i i'm just happy with it wide open it, it's great easy to feel obviously getting a bubble tank glass would be a good idea two mil you drain you drain so quickly two mil but that's tpd for you um there's not many cons there really isn't many cons um the build deck is a bit small it's slight it is a bit small but I mean, it's, it's a it's an rta it's a, it's a normal average size rta the screws um the screws i've mentioned on the close-ups they are a bit small, they are a little bit fiddly. I wonder how long they'll last if I forget to use a, a thinner style flathead and I end up chewing them up. It's possible. But you get some spares in the bag, which is always good. Yeah, I think it's absolutely fantastic. I wonder what they're going to come up with next. If they're ditching the, the Zeus range, what's going to come up after that? I'm sure they've got some great ideas. But I, I wish I'd tried the other two. I might have to try and pick them up, the, the, the two previously to this one, just to see the difference, see how they've improved down the line. There's plenty of videos and reviews out there on those anyway. Price point. I got this from eSig1 for $26.99, which is a, a great price. I think mean, it's a great price for a top RTA. So go check it out. Go give it a try, guys, if it's something you're interested in. It's certainly going to be a big one this year, I would have thought. I would have thought this one will be around for a long while this, this year. So that's it. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, hit the like button or subscribe if you fancy it. Click the little bell as well, you'll get notifications when I upload new videos. I'm Flat Vapor, thanks for watching.